Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video um, is going to be a life update video. By the time you guys see this video, I will have been working in the nursing field for two months now. Um, it has gone by super fast since graduating from nursing school and passing the NCLEX. So I just wanted to make a video, talk about my experience so far, what it's like in the real world as a nurse, um, some things that I thought were challenging, you know, transitioning over from being a nursing student. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so starting out, um, I graduated December 15th. I took my NCLEX January 16th and I started working February 8th. That's just a little background story for you guys. Um, I've had a lot of questions about what kind of unit that I'm on and the things that I've seen and experienced. So I'm working in a med surge transplant ICU unit. So I pretty much get a mix of everything, which is really, really good. Um, I have medical patients, surgical patients, and then kidney and liver transplant patients mostly. Um, so jumping straight out of nursing school into you know, the role of an RN was definitely scary. Like you're charting under your own name, you're pulling meds from Pixis under your name, you're witnessing for other nurses. Like it's a lot different, of course, than it is in nursing school because in nursing school, you're limited to the things that you can do based on policies and procedures and all this kind of stuff. So being a new grad in the ICU has definitely been very different. Um, it's been a huge learning curve because my ICU experience in nursing school was very short it was only like a couple clinicals and it was on a totally different unit then my preceptorship was in the ICU but it was a totally different unit it was neuro so it was like a lot of neuro based things that I learned there but having that ICU foundation was definitely helpful um, in this role that I'm in now um, I would say for new grads or even if you're not a new grad if you're still in nursing school um, try to find like the unit that you think that you want to work in um, and really try to you know research the things that happened on that unit if you can get your preceptorship or your capstone in that unit that would be great to give you a solid foundation um another bit of advice that i have for new grads would definitely um, be to communicate with your preceptor the things that you um, think that you're doing pretty well in or that you have a good grasp on versus the things that you don't really know very well. Maybe you didn't experience it that much in nursing school or you had a brief exposure to it or you're just not really comfortable in that area. That's what you have your preceptor there for. Um, and then your NES, your um, nursing education specialist also. Um, I've definitely had some really, really great preceptors going through my orientation for the Department of Nursing and on my unit. So that's been a huge plus for me. Um, so orientation has been like crazy busy. Like I have classroom things um, and then I have time on the unit where I'm doing either like eight hour shifts but mostly 12 hour shifts. Um, a lot of the classes that I've been in are critical care based classes because that's my specialty unit. So there's a lot of specialty um, classes that are involved with that. You have hemodynamic monitoring, um, mechanical ventilation, a lot of simulation labs and things like that. So your time as a new grad, like in a new unit and orientation is a super busy time. And then as far as being on the unit, I'm usually on the unit for 12 hours and my days alternate, you know, through the week or either on the weekend and then I do have some night shifts. So that's been really, really good. Um, definitely have learned a lot. I've seen a lot of things. Um, I actually was involved in my first code. No, that's not something that, you know, you want to be proud of, but just knowing, okay, how to react in a code situation when it's high stress, you know, just being involved in that, you know, during the compressions and things like that. Of course, I'm not pushing meds. It wasn't my patient. That was the room nurse's job, but just being involved in the code, you know, and helping with that, just knowing, okay, you are part of this code, um, whether or not the patient lives or dies, just that is a good experience, I think. Um, and then with the unit that I'm on, um, we do see that, you know, quite often, you know, code situations happening just because of the uh, the sickness and acuity of the patients that I take care of. I really like the hospital that I'm working for. Um, everybody's super friendly. Um, they do a really good job of giving new nurses a strong, solid foundation. Um, so having been there for two months now, um, it's definitely gone by super fast. I've definitely enjoyed it. It is a lot different than being in nursing school and what I expected. But I can say that I like finally working 
versus being a nursing student and always hearing, oh, well, this is how things will be, you know, when you get out there in the real world. But right now, let's focus on the textbook world or this is textbook world. So, you know, we're going to do things like this and this is how you need to learn it. And, you know, you know how it is in nursing school. It's always textbook world. But once you get out into the real world, it's totally different. And I feel like my knowledge has expanded even more than when I was in nursing school, which is always a positive because you're always here to learn new things. Okay guys, so another difference that I found um, actually now working in the role role myself is your time management. You definitely have to be on top of that because um, as a nursing student, you know, you can get report on your patient. Usually I know at my school we had to go, you know, like the night before. So you could get report on your patient the night before. You could already kind of formulate a plan and a picture of this patient in your head. Or as far as being in the real world, you know, you get to the floor you get your handoff or your report from the off-going nurse and then everything is in your hands from that point on. Um, as a nursing student, you do have your professor and then also that patient's actual nurse to fall back on where <clears throat> now in the real world, like you are the nurse. So you have to constantly stay on top of their medications, calling healthcare providers if they're not already on the floor, if things have changed with the patient. Um, during your assessments, your charting, like all of this you now have to take into your own responsibility and so you really have to have that sense of time management. So I usually like to get on the floor by 6.30, 6.40 at the latest so I have time to look at my patient, write down everything I want to write down, then I go for a huddle at 7 um, and then after huddle we break off and then the off-going nurse will then meet with you, you'll meet outside the patient's room, <clears throat> and then you'll do your report. Um, they'll give you their report of the patient, you know, we take that down, it's like your, your hand off. Um, then we go into the patient's room together, we do our drip checks, um, and then that off-going nurse can leave, and then I now resume, assume responsibility of this patient in my room. Um, so then I'll go through and do my safety checks, talk with the patient or the patient's family, um, and then I will proceed to go out formulate a plan of what I've been told, what I've already seen from my quick assessment of talking with the patient or the family. Um, I'll start gathering my eight o'clock meds and then I'll just go from there for the rest of the day. So definitely um, have a sense of time management, even as a nursing student, because it can definitely come in handy. So really having a strong basis of time and how to manage your time will definitely carry you far into the real world. Um, and I'd also say don't forget to utilize your teamwork. I know as a nursing student, it's easy to just kind of be there with the patient and you know not think about your other nursing students that might be on the floor with you that need help or whatever. But in the real world, it's definitely good to rely on your other nurses. I've gotten nurses and PCAs um, to come and you know help me turn a patient or clean up a patient or whatever. So it's really good to establish camaraderie with those that you're gonna be working with because you will be working with them and to formulate that teamwork and then your priority and delegation. If you know that there's something going on um, and it's something that can be delegated to like a PCA or CNA, whatever you call them on your floor, then you definitely wanna delegate that so you as a nurse are not stretched too thin. You can focus on what's most important and the CNA or the PCA can run and get like a sheet or a warm blanket or a cup of ice water or whatever the case may be. So definitely work on priority and delegation. Um, I know as far as NCLEX, that was pretty big on my NCLEX as well. So um, make sure you have a solid foundation for those of you that are nursing students and haven't taken the NCLEX yet. Um, priority and delegation is pretty big. So definitely focus on that. Um, if you're interested in some NCLEX tips and what I used to study for the NCLEX, I made a video on that. So I'll link that down below for you guys. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about how things have been going for me. I uh, kind of like kind of about my unit, what you can kind of expect in the real world. I just hope that this video is helpful whether you're a nursing student, a new grad that hasn't started working, or even if you have started working, depending on whatever unit you're on. I know I'm in the ICU, so I still hope that this was helpful for you. Um, if you guys have any questions, then please leave them below in the comment section. Find me on social media, whatever, however you want to ask me. I'm definitely going to have some more videos coming up for you guys. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.